Hey guys, welcome back. Check out this video from Iman Gazi. I don't know if it's necessarily wise all the time to listen to your parents. Your parents' advice is not going to be applicable to you and that ha has nothing to do with your parents. You need to understand that when you have kids, your advice actually won't be that applicable to them. In 20 years time, when you tell your children this is the best way to do things, you are going to be wrong as well. Like there's certain life principles that will always hold true. The way to carry yourself. If your parents tell you how to have a happy, healthy marriage, you should listen to them. These are timeless things. But if your parents tell you this is the best vehicle to get you to where you want, they're teaching you outdated models because things change so quickly. All right, Kirby, what do you think of his message to parents? You're a parent yourself, so what do you think? Finally, finally someone gets it. And what I mean by finally someone gets it is everybody wants to live in the past. And I remember having a conversation with my uh, parents were well, really my mom the other day and she wondered why hey why don't nobody your age and older speaking to people in the family know anything about computers or how technology works and i told her i said because it's the parents fault i said y'all was scared on the news that they just abduct kids on the internet and so Y'all playing the action was instead of saying, hey, don't go with nobody or don't create friends where you build a relationship to go meet up with them outside or just parent, y'all, y'all mode of operandi would just, hey, no, you can't be on the internet. The internet is bad. Kind of like how they're doing right now with cryptocurrency. Oh, cryptocurrency is bad. That's where all the nefarious activity is going. Then you look up. And then now cryptocurrency goes from 2000 to 65000 to 25000 now up to 40000 As parents listen to the news and not parent, the thing is, is everything is in the future. I mean, even right now today, uh, it's a big dispute in my house. I mean, you know, me, my, my family, like me, I don't care how long my son is on the computer how long he's in front of screens and the reason why is because the future is technology the future ain't plumbing the future ain't uh reading a book the future ain't learning who is the 45 presidents 47 presidents how many of them is out there now 47 presidents in alphabetical order that's not what the future is the future is understanding technology why would you sit there and memorize stuff when you could just Pick up your phone and ask Siri. Spin your brain with and your bandwidth on learning technology to better be efficient at life. But everybody want to parent in the past. This is what my parents said, so I'm going to do that. But this is a forward generation. And like I was explaining to my mom that the parents handicapped the kids. So... Instead of, you know, saying, okay, embrace the new technology that's coming up, they embrace the 60s and 70s where everybody just went outside and played. Now we fast forward and we're in the technology age and all those kids that they raised to not do it, they still are handicapped because they don't understand technology because they just listen to their parents. I'm not telling kids don't listen to your parents, but my mom asked me, she said, well, we, we said all that, but how did you learn it? I said, because I didn't listen. When y'all said don't use the internet or you can't have the internet or you want to buy an internet, I just found the internet in other places. I can tell you now that I'm grown, but I won't tell you then. But that's what I did. I just didn't listen. And that's the same thing, Alex, we talk about. Like when we talk about schooling, I don't listen to teachers either. Because if I listen to teachers, then I'm just going to be them. I'm being twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a year jobs, uh, barely making it. 40 or 50 now, but barely making it, trying to get there. So I'm glad that he said that because he's spot on and on point. Yeah, I like this message too, because especially me coming out of high school just recently, uh, my mom, she was very much so like, you know, the, the best route you can take is college. And I know why she thought that way. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, her her advice that she was trying to give me.
but it is an outdated model as you know iman Gazi was saying maybe back then college might have been a better way but today with so many routes to entrepreneurship with the internet with drop shipping with with stocks right in your hands i mean there's so many ways to become successful financially rather than just taking the old-fashioned college route and it wasn't just you know my parents it was people that were of that same age you know my peers that were saying hey you know the best route for you to take is college or if i did mention anything finance well why not go to college to learn finance rather than you know actually just self-taught not self-taught but you know learning from those that have done it and um following the blueprint that others have already created and i think that's just a new way of becoming successful today we kind of see that now with a lot of the influencers today that are putting out good messages that people can just follow their footsteps and become financially successful rather than having to think that they need to go to college or read a book or something and so i like that message because most people believe that you have to listen to everything your parents say and you know as this guy was saying in some aspects maybe like having a healthy marriage sure maybe if they have a healthy marriage themselves and you can learn from things like that but as far as you know what's applicable in the modern world is a totally different aspect right and and i didn't know what topic we was gonna come up with but the shirt i just happened to have a shirt on but <laughs> never forget this is what parents do they never forget the old days so they want to go back to the old days you know the floppy disk the vhs that's how my parents grew up. They never wanted to go past those days. They didn't want to go to CDs. They didn't want to go to MP3s. They didn't want to do nothing. They just want to hold on. But it, another good aspect about that video that he said was the try true methods are things that you should pass on to your kids. How to have an everlasting marriage. How to become financially independent. It's tried and true. I don't give a care if it's you know, 300 BC or year 3,280. It's the same. You have to live on less than you make. You have to use that capital to invest in other ventures to make sure you're financially free. It will be the same from here to the end of time. Those are the messages that you should be passing on to your kids. Not handicapping them based on your upbringing and your belief on the system that you grew up in. Like today, like I always tell people, in my neighborhood, I don't even know kids are in my neighborhood until it's time to go to school. That's the only time I see kids. In the summer, I don't see them. Like back in the day, you know, we went outside, rode, rode bikes. Alex, you probably didn't even do that back in your day. We you know we rode bikes. We, we hung out till the streetlights came on. And then we came in the house. Because all the parents were saying, oh, no, you can't get on the internet. You can't do none of that stuff. So we just hung out and our internet, our communication or our knowledge of the world was what was encompassed in that little hood, that little ghetto that we lived in. That was life for us. Kids today are, you know, communicating with people all over the world. The world is connected. You can talk to people all over the world. But because our parents didn't grow up that way, they figured, oh, no, you shouldn't go that way. Instead of passing on the tried true traditions that work, like marriage, like how finances work. No matter what, I don't care if you can come up with the next AI program and you make a million dollars a month. If you spend a million dollars and one dollar a month, you're broke. No matter what, that's tried and true. No matter how old you are, how long you've been on earth, no matter if you was there here before Jesus, it was the same thing. After Jesus died, it's the same thing. You have to pass those traditions on. But don't handicap kids to how you was born or how you was raised. Because the only thing they do is put them at a detriment for the future. Because the future is science and technology, no matter how much people want to avoid making it happen. It's still going to come. Exactly. With all that being said, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like button. Leave us a comment down below. Share this video. Subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one.